Dropbox tutorial for beginners. How to use Dropbox. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Dropbox. So let's get into it. Now, Dropbox is a online cloud storage platform that allows you to store your files for free as well as some expanded storage plans are available. Now, you can work around the clock at any time with your friends or your colleagues or any of your teammates and you would be able to share your files simultaneously. So let's get into the different price plans of Dropbox and how you can get started. Now, there is a free version of Dropbox, however, it is only limited to 2 gigabytes of storage. Now, they also have a Business Plus plan, which is $26 per user per month, which allows you access to 15 terabytes for the team. Now, for individual plans, they have the Plus plan that is meant for personal use that gives you access to 2 terabytes of storage and you can add files as large as 2 gigabytes. Then the Essentials plan starts at $18 per month. That is also meant for one user as well that gives you access to 3 terabytes of storage. Then their business plan is primarily for teams, which gives you 9 terabytes of storage for the entire team. That is split in three ways, so each member within that team gets 3 terabytes of storage. Now, let's take a look at Dropbox and how you can get started as a beginner. Now, to get started, simply head on over to dropbox.com and once you're on dropbox.com, click on the get started now button. Once you click on get started now, you will have to choose your plan. So we're going to proceed with the basic plan down below. So a lot of people don't even realize it because it's present below these plans. So if you scroll down, you're going to find the basic plan that is for free. So you can click on get basic over here. Once you do that, you can register with your email address or you can continue with Google or Apple. So if I click on Google over here, I'm going to just log into my account and that is all you have to do. You just have to register with an email address or, you know, you can register with your Apple ID or with your Google profile or Apple profile. So I'm just going to head back to our home page. Now you guys can see this is going to be your dashboard. So once you have logged on to your Dropbox account, you're going to have a empty dashboard. I have some files added already, but you guys can delete, you know, any pre-existing files, but you're going to have an empty dashboard over here. Now, once you have logged on, you will find a empty section of all files. This section is going to show you all the data that you have present within your Dropbox. Now, on the left side, you have segregations. So you have photos where it's going to display all of your files or folders that contain photos. Then you will have shared files. Then you will have signatures. So different files might require signatures, which you can also do via Dropbox. Then you have file requests. So people might have requested for a certain access to a particular file in a document and you can choose whether or not you want to grant them access or whether or not you're getting access to files that you requested access for. Now below that you have your deleted files and below that you have all of your folders. So your folders are going to determine how you're going to categorize all your info. Then on the top right you have your app dashboard and over here, you're going to be able to find the entire ecosystem of what kind of things you can integrate within Dropbox. Then you have notifications and basic settings and then your account information. So let's get started with actually creating files, folders and categorizing and sharing them on Dropbox. So for that, we are just going to head on over to our Dropbox homepage. Now on your homepage, you can click on create on the top left and this will pop up a drop down menu. In this menu, you have multiple different types of things you can create and add. So you can create folders. You can create documents. Keep in mind when you create a document, it is different than uploading your document. Then you can send file requests as well, import from your Google Drive, as well as start creating web shortcuts, spreadsheets, presentations, recordings, all directly on Dropbox. So for most people, they like to get started with building their folders. So one folder might be school work like this. And then I might want to create a second folder which might be personal life. Now, let's say I am supposed to 
I'm going to segregate these folders because you don't want your folders to be, you know, slip pages. And you can create a folder within a folder as well. So let's say within my personal life folder, I can click on create and I can create a subfolder called pictures. And then the second subfolder that I want to create in my personal life folder is going to be maybe, let's say the second one is going to be contacts like this. So like this, in my personal life section, I have created two little subfields or subcategories. Now let's say in my schoolwork folder, I want to be able to share this with my classmate or let's say I want to share this with someone else. So I want to only share my schoolwork folder and no other folder. So let's say I want to only go ahead into my all files and you guys can see i've already created my schoolwork folder and i put personal life in this so i'm gonna move this out of my schoolwork folder to do that i can select this and what i'm gonna do is once i select the folder i can go on ahead and scroll down and i can also move this to a particular section and I can also share with Dropbox, send a copy, I have folder information, permissions as well. But what we're going to do is we are going to click on move over here. And I'm just going to move this into a newer folder, which is going to be segregated. So we're going to create a new folder called life. And now what I can do is in the schoolwork section, I can move this out of our particular school section so now personal life has been added under the life folder so if i want to go into my schoolwork section and i want to start uploading my documents or assignments or presentations in this all i have to do is click on create and then click on upload on the bottom now you have two options if you want to upload an entire file or folder if you have multiple different documents you're going to upload a folder but for us, let's just say we have one file that we want to upload. Let's say it's just this file over here. Now, let's say I want to grant access to this particular folder and no other folder to my classmates. So to be able to give my classmates access to the schoolwork folder, all I have to do is I'm going to click on over here, click on this particular folder, or just go into all files over here on the top left. Then what I'm going to do is hover your mouse over the folder that you want to share. So I'm just going to refresh this. So to be able to share our schoolwork folder and not share our life folder. So I only want people to be able to access this particular one and none other. To do that, you can just select that folder that you want to share. Once you select that, you're going to find on the top right, you have a share icon. Then you also have a copy link to schoolwork icon. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on share over here. And once you click on share, you have multiple different options. So if you want a view only link, so if you're sharing this with a friend and they want to copy your assignment, then you can click on can view and they would only have access to view that particular folder and they wouldn't be able to change any of the files or delete or move them. However, if you're working on a school project and you're working on building something together with your friends, then you can enable permissions for them to edit. Now, even within editing, you have features, so you can click on settings on the right to be able to edit the features. Now, you can choose who can add people to this folder. Let's say you only want you to be able to add people, so only the owner can add. However, let's say if you're working with one person and you don't know the rest of the people that are supposed to help you out in this project, then you can enable permissions for anyone to be able to add new members to that folder. Then you have your viewer info if you want to display who is currently viewing what on the folder. Then you have a link for editing, so people should be able to edit this particular folder and you can create a link and what this will allow you to do is that people can edit the folder with this link now you can choose two options within links as well whether or not people who are invited can access via this link or anyone with the link you can also choose to make an expiry of the link as well as require a password then you have a link for viewing if certain people are only meant to view your project 
then you can enable this as well. So once you have set up all of your options, you can proceed and you can just click on save over here and go back to your sharing link and get started with sharing. So you can click on copy link on the bottom left over here and you can start sharing this with your friends your schoolmates or classmates. And if you have emails of your classmates or colleagues, you can add them via email as well. So in this way, you can get started with Dropbox as a beginner to store your info on the cloud, to store your files on the cloud, as well as work collaboratively. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.